And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! I think at this point, I'm a bit more of a fan of Jason Momoa, the person, than I am of his films. I also really like the rising star that is Isabella Merced from the Door the Explorer movie and Instant Family. Both actors put on a great performance in this film, but unfortunately, the remaining elements of the movie couldn't pull their weight enough for me to fully recommend this. Sweet Girl is about a man and his daughter in search of justice against a pharmaceutical company who pulled a potentially life-saving drug from the market shortly before his wife died from cancer. On paper, everything about this movie seems decent. The plot is packed with emotion and thrilling action, and the opening sequence of the movie created an effective emotional base to the overall story. That being said, a number of the main characters, aside from Momo and Merced, are fairly underdeveloped, mainly the antagonists and their motives, which makes a lot of the subsequent action scenes a little less believable and fairly nonsensical. The action is exciting, including the hand-to-hand -hand combat, but the overall pace of the film was pretty bumpy throughout. The movie opens like a typical action thriller you'd see from the late 90s, early 2000s, where it drops you right into the thick of the action and then slingshots you back in the timeline to explain how everything culminated to that point. When we arrive back at the climax of the story, it leads to this pinnacle moment that I personally found somewhat predictable and as the viewer, you'll either love it or hate it. But regardless of how you feel about it, that important moment within the story's climax is followed by about 20 more minutes of movie that kind of drags towards an anticlimactic conclusion. And while I did feel like the movie was about 20 minutes too long, I hate when something just fades because it's still feel like it's incomplete and you put so Cut. much time. That's a wrap.